Building spelling skills, grade five, week 16. Word meaning. Answer the questions using spelling words. Number one, what is the plural form of these words? So when we, of these nouns. So when we have more than one, how do we say it? This would be athletes, with just an S at the end. Watch, watches. And because it ends in a CH, we need an ES. Child. Now, child is one of those irregular words that doesn't have a particular form. So this is children. So we need to add an R E N at the end. And chocolate. This is a normal noun. So we just need to add an S. So chocolates. All right. Which word has both of these meanings? Buy things and the things you buy. So, to buy things, purchases. So, when you purchase something, you buy it. But purchases are the things you buy. All right, B, looks at something and timepieces worn on your wrist. Watches. A place where stocks are bought and sold and to trade things. This is an exchange. Three, which spelling word describes one thing dancers and musicians need? Well, I would say music, but I don't think that's one of our words. So we have rhythm. All right, which spelling words contain the diagraph circle every th that has the sound you hear in thin or th? All right, we have thought. So we want to circle. Athletes. Truthful. Go ahead and circle it there before I write it. Truthful. Though. Rhythm. Oops, I forgot the H. I don't spell rhythm very often myself. All right, let's make that. There you go. Rhythm. Children, no chocolates, friendship, together. White watches arithmetic. Yeah, and sometimes I even make spelling mistakes when I write out words. Months. Especially words I don't write out very often. Length. All right, there we go. My spelling dictation, write the sentences, circle the spelling words. Number one. How many children made purchases of chocolate this month. How many children made purchases of chocolate this month? How many children made purchases of chocolate this month? How many children made purchases of chocolate this month? How many children made purchases of chocolate this month? How many children made purchases of chocolate this month? How many children made purchases of chocolate this month? How many children made purchases of chocolate this month? Last time, how many children made purchases of chocolate this month? Number two, I thought I would exchange my gold watches for white boots. I thought I would exchange my gold watches for white boots. 
I thought I would exchange my gold watches for white boots. I thought I would exchange my gold watches for white boots. I thought I would exchange my gold watches for white boots. I thought I would exchange my gold watches for white boots. I thought I would exchange my gold watches for white boots. I thought I would exchange my gold watches for white boots. Last time, I thought I would exchange my gold watches for white boots. All right, number one. How many children made purchases of chocolate this month? So how needs to be capitalized? We need a question mark at the end of the sentence. Now, chocolate and month, our spelling words are actually chocolates and months, but for this, we don't have the S on it. Now, our spelling words are children, purchases, chocolate, and month. Number two, I thought I would exchange my gold watches for white boots. I obviously needs to be capitalized. We need a period at the end of our sentence. And our spelling words are thought, exchange, watches, and white. 